all right now good morning so this is day one of my 30-day challenge to how to improve your relationship by three times so today I'm gonna I'm actually gonna keep all of my videos short and sweet and to the point there is no reason to talk about this subject really long I just want you guys to get an idea of what you need to do in order to 3x your relationship to improve your relationship so definitely um, keep these things into consideration so today we're actually going to um, talk about being consistent I know that that is something that you weren't thinking about but being consistent in your relationship is actually going to change the dynamics in your relationship is actually going to enhance your relationship and you're gonna feel better about doing it a lot of times we don't like to be consistent because we live in a microwave society meaning we want things to happen right here right now um, so none of us like the process we only want the product None of us like the process, but we all want the product. The product is that happy, loving, um, happy-go-lucky marriage, the one where everybody is envious of us, the one where everybody's coming to us like, girl, how did you do that? Oh, boy, man, your wife, I wish I had a wife like that or a girl like that or whatever it is. So um, being consistent in your relationship is something that is going to help you in the long run. And there are things that you need to anticipate when you're being consistent in your relationship because as we know, relationships have the ups and downs and ins and outs and sometimes you be all in and sometimes you be like, I need to get the hell out, <laughs> right? So it really just is dependent on you, but staying consistent is gonna be something that is going to make your relationship thrive in the long run. So one of the things that you need to anticipate in your relationship is that there is going to be a dip. Now, what is the dip? The dip is <laughs> when everything is going super duper pooper scooper. Yes, that's what I said. Everything is going super smooth in your relationship. And all of a sudden, something else happens <laughs> where um, maybe you maybe you and your spouse, all of a sudden, everything was going really, really great, uh, happy-go-lucky times, and then something just annoys the heck out of you. And then all of a sudden, guess what? Guess what you're doing? All of a sudden, <laughs> y'all arguing every day, y'all um, annoyed every day. There's just something that ticks you off, that ticks your spouse off, and it takes a dip. It was going super smooth, and you have no idea why your relationship went down the tubes. Like, what actually happened? We was good. And so then you start questioning everything about yourself. So that is something that you need to anticipate. It is going to be the dip. And also, within the dip, you need to anticipate that there are going to be days when you just don't feel like being consistent with your spouse because mm -mm. you want to do your own thing you want to be selfish you want to just do whatever it is that you want to do and who gives a diggity dog on about what your spouse with your partner how they feel you just don't care some days but guess what staying consistent is what is going to help you in your relationship yes so you're gonna have that dip that's gonna come and come and go just like that ebb and flow and then when you don't want to do it you do it anyway so say for instance today let's start in some small chunks don't take big chunks because you're not gonna stay consistent especially if this is something that you're new to you need to start doing it one day at a time so say for instance after you watch this video you know what I decided that I'm just gonna be nicer to my spouse today to my boyfriend to my girlfriend to my fiance I'm gonna be nicer today all right so all day doesn't matter what comes up doesn't matter how they treat you doesn't matter what they say to you or even how they say it to you today because you're Yes, you. You are saying that you're going to be consistent. Today, you're just going to be nicer in spite of. Because that is the thing that is going to keep you going in your relationship. That is the thing that your partner is going to look back and even soften because they notice that you are just being just as, just as sweet as pie. Just as nice. And they're wondering, why. what did I do to find such a gem when I'm being such an ass? So, the two things that you need to anticipate when you need to stay consistent is that there's going to be a dip. When things are going great, that dip is going to come, and then y'all going to come back out of it. And the second thing is, as soon as that dip comes, you're going to feel like I shouldn't be consistent any longer. But choose to be consistent, even when you don't want to be consistent. 
thank you guys for watching i will definitely be here for the next 30 days so tomorrow around this time i won't give you an exact time because uh, the way my life is set up it's not going to be an exact time so <laughs> tomorrow and for the next 30 days i said 30 days but actually it's gonna be 31 i'm gonna go till may 31st and i'll be here every day just giving you small tips to improve your relationship by three times if you implement these tips each and every day one each and every day or one even um excuse me each and every week your relationship will improve by 3x go ahead and share this video with those that you know who need to see it and i'll see you guys tomorrow around the same time same place